And I'm sitting here with my second favorite Tuka brother after, oh. after Vincent has decided to make the move to, to, to the Sharks. Um, but Vincent, exciting season ahead. Um, first of all, can you speak about how, why you broke so many Lions fans' hearts, myself included? But then more importantly, what this move means to you and, and why you made the move down to the Sharks? Look, I, I realize that in life, there's no nice way to say bad news. So <laughs> there's no, there never a good way to do it. Um, I moved up to the Sharks just because I, want, I was at that place in my life where I wanted something new. And I was looking at other options and uh, the Sharks just had, seemed to be a really good option for me. There's yeah. an exciting team that they've, they're putting together. They, they, you know, they, were, they really are, the goal is to be me. The goal is for us to be the best in the, to be the best in the world. And, you know, I, I want nothing more than to be the best as well. So, you know, it, it's exciting. I've been, I've been here for about, I've been down in Cape uh, Durban for about three weeks. And it's, it's really been a smooth transition. They've made it easy for me. They've really taken care of me. And then you saw I wanted to be the best. I mean, you'll be playing with some of the best. You know, the likes of Evan Etzebel on the field now. You could be, could be playing in a, in a loose chair with Sia Khaleesi, uh, Sigurd Moza Noche, Pepsi Budelezi, also somebody who's very, um, very highly rated. I uh, was being the genre as well, just in terms of the competitiveness within the loose trio. Dylan Richardson, for example. How excited are you to, to be able to push yourself next to people who have been there, done that, World Cup winners, uh, and some of the best players in the world? Yeah, absolutely. That's the most exciting part for me because there's just so much I can learn, firstly, like before the competition, like there's the, in those environments, you can only learn, you can only get a lot out of it. So that's, that's exciting for me. And as well as to just to compete, competing is something I've always loved to do. And, you know, now that I'm, I feel like I'm constantly held at a high standard in terms of my, because if you don't, if you don't play well, if you don't deliver at the highest quality, then you, you won't make the team. And uh, it, there's just more pressure in that regard, but good pressure. Pressure that grows, pressure that builds, pressure that creates diamonds. Yeah, I love it. And I reckon you probably got a shot pretty full of those Man of the Match awards after the, the, the run you had. Um, but probably safe to say that you were definitely within the top three best players in the, the Lions this last season. You know, do you sort of feel that if you can sort of repeat that sort of performance to the Sharks and get yourself to one of the main Sharks players, then that sort of firmly puts you to in the running for, for higher orders in the future? Absolutely, I think uh, that's 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 the goal. That's why I actually one of the reasons is that, that I actually joined the team is because to be a star, to be a real star, you have to be a star among stars. So and um, to play against world class, to play with world class players is is one privilege, but to be a world class player amongst world class players is another privilege completely. So that that's my goal. That's my plan. I want to I want to be a star among stars. And in speaking of stars, champion Heineken Cup, you know, you're going to be playing some of the best players in the, in the world. Um, could be playing against former, former uh, teammates who are playing in Europe, stuff like that. How excited are you to, to now add the French, the top 14 teams, as well as the Premiership teams, to, to sort of the, the, the players you'll play against this season? It's very exciting. I think that's exactly what the URC brought for me when we first joined. It was an opportunity to play against the world's best in a completely different league because we've been in Super for so long, you're familiarized, you want, a, you, want, you want new, you want a new feeling against more of the world's best opposition. And that's what the Heineken Cup has given us. It's given us the opportunity to, to broaden and widen that spectrum of play against the world's best. It's going to be exciting to see some of my mates again, you know, that are playing those competitions. It's going to be, going to be really, really cool. And then from a Sharks perspective, um, a couple of people were a bit disappointed where they sort of finished up, um, a couple of games away from doing a quite good season, but lots of expectations with making such big signings. Um, obviously, Carly coming down with you, Evan coming in, you know, Ryan Jansen from Reisberg. Um, yeah, the Lions continue to feed all the other years, a lot of players, but uh, how, how important is it the Sharks really start to live up to, to the hype with a team on paper that, that people could say could be winning any competition? Yeah, the, the expectation definitely does grow, not only from the fans, not only from the CEO and from the board and from the sponsors themselves, but from a player's pers uh, perspective as well. You know, as a player, you want, when you're playing with the best, you feel like there's nothing short but to be the best. Um, so there's, there's a whole lot of pressure, but I think, as, as I said, first it does um, create diamonds and it, it's going to be good. I really do feel something special is going to happen this season coming, coming forth. And um, I want nothing more than to lift the trophy at the end of it all. Now, during the season, you're going to have to come back here and play against former teammates, play against your brother now, um, potentially. Uh, how much are you looking forward to and how, and how weird is it going to be playing on the other side? Some of you who's used, used, used Doberg through and through at school here. How's, how strange is it going to be and, and how much are you looking forward to coming and playing on the other side of Ellis Park? Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be definitely very strange, you know, walking to the other change rooms uh, for a start. But it's 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 a uh, strange event that I'm looking forward to. 
like to see my brother on the other side of the field, which is different because we've always we've always been on the same team and supporting the same the same team. But now it's it's gonna be a little bit different. But I'm excited. I think it, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good for the both of us. You know, it was always it's always nice. I wish we played more. Too. I wish we spend more time on the field together. Um, but I guess we're gonna have to be pushing each other on the other um, from the opposite sides of the pitch. Right, well, there's definitely going to be at least two games I won't be supporting you. But apart from that, good luck for the season ahead and uh, looking forward to seeing how you guys go down in, in Durban. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.